Ed's question. If if Congress today, since we've already gone over the debt ceiling, if Congress today wanted to legislate on this, I'm confused about. Are they even here? I'm just saying. <laughs> in a hypothetical perfect world, if they were going to do this today, I'm not sure I understand what whether the president has signaled how long a duration he's seeking, what dollar amount for the debt ceiling. How would they act if he's not negotiating and he hasn't suggested what it is he'd sign? Look, there is a long tradition here of Congress acting to raise the debt ceiling. This is a power that they've brought, uh, that they've given themselves to right, do. Right. And, right. and right. the right. point right. is, without drama and delay, right. a monthly extension is drama, okay? You know, I, so what, you know, a, a, Congress should simply do its job. It should not, you know, we're not going to negotiate over extending the debt ceiling. Saying he's willing to, to revisit this within a year? Would he like five years? I mean, what is he saying? I think the President made clear the other day that he would uh, happily take on the responsibility himself if Congress can't handle it. So uh, the fact is, Congress should simply extend the death ceiling and, and do so in a manner that causes no concern uh, to the economy and to global markets, uh, that does not in any way suggest that Washington is about to, uh, you know, engage in another process that results in a self-inflicted wound uh, to the economy. So, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of a moot point because it should just be extended in a way that does not raise concern about whether or not the United States of America pays its bills. Okay. 